Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to do a quick oil change how-to video on a 2021 Tacoma. This has the three and a half liter V6 and this is the SR5 uh, with the off-road package. You can tell because it has the beefier tires and there's normally supposed to be some stuff up there but you know it's covered right now. Anyways first things first you're gonna need some ramps and you're gonna get your car up on a ramp. I've opened the hood to let it cool down a little faster. It's been cooling down for about an hour. Safety is our number one priority, so make sure you do that first. And next, we're gonna go over a list of tools that we need. First, you're gonna need a set of ramps. I think the car is tall enough where you can get underneath, but I'm doing this just for some extra leverage. Next, you're gonna need some shop towels just to clean the inside, oil filter wrenches, I believe. This vehicle uses a 64 millimeter, some gloves. I have one of my old camping mats just so when I'm working on the ground, it's a little more comfortable and I don't tear up the back of my shirt. Have a 3 8 socket set. We're gonna need a 12 millimeter and a 14 and obviously a 3 8 wrench. Have my impact gun. Here is the oil filter that you need. It's part number 04152-Yankee Zulu Zulu Alpha 1. I got this at Walmart for about seven, eight dollars, and the oil is full synthetic, zero W20. You can also use five W20 pencil. Last thing we're gonna need is the oil pan and a funnel. Apologies for the noise in the background. I'm working outside today. All right, guys. So all my tools are gonna be prepped right there, and then confirming that right here is the oil drain plug location. This should be a 14. And then on the skid plate here, so right here, there, um, up here, and up, up there, if you can see right there, those are 12 mil. And we're gonna take the oil drain plug out first. And then while we do that, we're gonna take off the skid plate for efficiency. Hey guys, so to take off the skid plate is a little bit difficult. So up here, you see I have the little front air dam thing that's still on the Tacoma. So basically with the skid plate here, I had to push it forward a little bit so it would un unlatch because um, it was hooked onto something behind here, up here, and then I was able to take it out. Um, but other than that, so now that the skid plate's off, the oil has is done draining. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take out the oil filter, which is underneath the skid plate here. So we can see that there's your oil filter right there. That's where you need the 64 millimeter wrench or, um, and then this is a little, right there, that is a little plug that you drain out. Apparently the system is different, so here goes nothing. So in the oil filter box, there is this oil filter and then there are these O-rings that you're supposed to replace and then there's this drain plug. So when we take off that thing first, a little bit of oil might drop out and then you're going to put the drain plug and it's going to shoot straight out. So now we have a little drain plug and we're just going to push it right in here and then it should all come out. All right, guys, so we have a slight hiccup here. The 64 mil isn't getting on and I'm thinking it's because this was probably torqued to spec the last time it got serviced and my arms aren't enough and I'm not uh, I don't feel confident because this is plastic and I don't want to put my impact gun to it But also the 64 mil only gets on around here I think I might need more leverage by getting that special oil filter housing removal tool which has uh, slots to go in here and there So we're gonna head over to AutoZone and pick it up for about 10 or 11 dollars and then we'll get back all right guys, so I did try to use this with the impact, but if you can see those little spot welds there, obviously I broke the spot welds on this 64 mil. So I ended up going to AutoZone to pick up this big one piece cast oil filter wrench that has a 64 millimeter. And then you can see the cuts up here to fit into the cuts up there, which will be perfect. Um, 
But yeah, three eighths gun from Milwaukee broke that. Good job, Milwaukee. Bad job to whoever this is. This is also oh, this is also a PNT. Interesting. Anyways, back to the oil change. Alright guys, so we have the oil filter out right here. First thing we're going to do is take the oil filter out. There's still some leftovers, so we're going to dump that into our oil pan. So with some extra shop towels, we're going to wipe down the inside and the outside here. And we're also going to remove these rubber gaskets. There's one here, right there. You might need to use a flathead to grab that one out. You can reuse some of the old oil and lubricate up your o-ring here and then we're going to slip it back over and it's going to fall into this seat right here so it's all in there this bottom one removes debris can go right in here seam so it goes right in there and then after that you can use your 3 8 drive and put this socket back in so for now we're just going to hand tighten this back in such Boom. and then we're going to put our new oil filter in here and then I'm also going to prime it. So priming your oil filter, what that basically means, you're gonna put a little bit of oil in here so that this oil filter isn't dry when you put it back in to uh, its location. And for that, we are, today we are Team Pens Oil, no VR1 for this one. Alright, one of the last things we're going to do, we are first going to hand thread our uh, oil filter back in, and then we're going to tighten it down. So I recommend, or I don't know what, I don't remember off the top of my head what the, uh, what the recommendation is, but I usually do a quarter turn past hand tight. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so the oil filter housing is back on. The oil drain bolt is plugged back in and tightened down. All this was tightened down. Don't forget to tighten down the drain piece over there. Now we're going to install that skid plate back on. And then the last thing is to fill it with oil. All right guys, so now that all that's done, your filler neck is right here for the oil to the right of the engine cover. You're gonna put a funnel in there and then fill it with 6.1 quarts of zero uh, W20. You can also use five W20, but zero W20 full synthetic is preferred. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything else after that. Oh, check your fluid levels after you run the car for a little bit, uh, some of the the level should go down from when you first put it in just because the oil needs to fill all those dead spots. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. And, uh, and All right, guys, last thing that I almost forgot um, to reset the maintenance light so you can turn it to accessory mode. Wait for the beeping to stop. Uh, you're going to go over to your far right, your setting. You can see the cog. Press the middle dot on the right-hand side for settings. And then you can click maintenance reset right there, and then that should be it. So again, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Stay safe.